Hello healing warriors and healers. So I wanted to show you today some more arm exercises. And it's gonna be lying down. And the great thing about these exercises is you can begin using nothing but your arms, or you can use some light weights. I have some light, I have three pounds, but you can begin with one pound if you'd like. And if holding weights are difficult, I also have these wonderful hand weights that you just strap around. I actually use these for kickboxing when I was kickboxing before I got sick. And you can just go like this. So it's actually easy on the wrist, easy on the hands. And, and this is about, I think, one or two pounds. You can find them at a Sporting's Good or possibly on Amazon. Let's get started. All right, so you're gonna lie down and you can, if lying down flat is too difficult, then just lie down in a recline position. That's just as good. It's whatever is most comfortable for you. And honestly, what we're working towards is working out, lying down, to reclined, to sitting up anyhow. So if you can rely, lie down in a recline position, go for it. Remember, this is all about breathing and you move with your breath, not you breathe with your movement. In the sense that it's about controlling your breathing, pacing yourself. You don't want to be getting out of breath. You want to be checking your heart rate if you have a heart rate monitor or your oxygen. And pause, stop, rest if you feel any symptoms, whether it's all of a sudden a wave of fatigue coming on, whether it's shortness of breath coming on, a heart rate. Um, because you don't want to crash. This is about increasing gradually our exercise tolerance so we can continue to get better instead of plummeting and crashing after we do exercise. I'm gonna go through this one round. We're gonna be doing 10 reps for each exercise. If you'd like, you can go on and redo the video and do two reps or you can come back later in the day and so you can get to see how you feel after doing this and later in the day, do another rep if it feels right for you. All right, let's get moving and grooving. So I'm gonna lie down. You can put a pillow under your legs if that's comfortable, whether you're in recline position or flat. And these are all you can be done, can be done in bed, yay, or on the floor. Today I'm doing it in bed because I don't know how I'm getting kind of short of breath today. So I wanna kind of take it easy. So as always, we're gonna begin with breathing. Put your hand right down on your lower rib cage. We're gonna be working at 360 diaphragmatic breathing, with the belly breathing. And we're just gonna take a nice slow breath in for the count of four. Pause and then breathe out for the count of six or eight through just relax jaw open as you exhale. And again, as you breathe in, just feeling your rib cage and your belly expand and even perhaps feeling your back just slightly expand into the back of your bed. Pause and gently exhaling. Remember, it's like blowing out blowing on a hot soup, not blowing out a candle. So hot soup, you're not gonna do a huge forced exhale or the soup's gonna go everywhere. It's just a nice gentle exhale. And one more time. Now my body feels calmer and ready to go. So we're gonna start with chest presses. So either no weights or weights, always start at one pound or start really low weights if you're just beginning. And we're gonna inhale, exert on the exhale. Inhale and push up on the exhale. And inhale. Okay. My arm's almost in a 90 degree angle from my shoulders. And you're gonna exhale and inhale. Exhale, inhale. That's three.
four. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to do a breath of four on the inhalation, four on the exhalation. If that's too fast, slow it down for yourself. I wouldn't advise going any faster. Inhale, coming down. You squeeze those pec muscles as you come up right here. Inhale. You're also having your shoulder base kind of remain stable as you're squeezing those pec muscles, those chest muscles, working those. And let's just do one more. Exhaling. Nice job. Okay, so since we did that overhead, we're gonna kind of pace ourselves by doing something not overhead. And definitely take a break, get a drink of water if you need to. It's so important to hydrate. Have your electrolytes before or after or during. All right, so we're gonna do bicep curls. So the nice thing about some curls, you're just going to relax your arms on the bed and then just bring it up like that. Okay, so we're going to begin. Ready? We're going to inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. You guys have some fun music on, other than my music perhaps, so that helps keep you motivated, keep you going. But if it's fast music, don't speed up. Remember, go to your breath. Your breath is your guide. Get that extra squeeze right at the end, squeezing that bicep, and then bring it down as you inhale. Exhale, focusing on that bicep, and that bent bicep is just contracting that bicep right here, pulling it up. Two more. The more you focus on the muscle that's doing the work, the more you can actually feel it. You're really connecting your mind with the body. Great, nice job. So now we're gonna do chest flies. So chest flies, you begin up here. You inhale going down, and then you exhale as you go up, okay? too difficult. Remember, don't use weights, okay? Or stop if you start getting short of breath, dizziness. You don't want to be continuing this. All right, so we're going to inhale. Exhale. Inhale. muscles as you're pulling your hands together. Four. And the great thing about pacing is that you're actually working harder because you're not using momentum. Exhale. So it shows how great pacing is. You're really working those muscles when you go slow motion. Seven. I'm bending my knees, feet flat on the bed just for a little more support. Eight. 
making sure your back stays flat on the bed, not overarching with this. Nine. If ten's too much, remember you stop and just rest. Ten. Nice job. So, since that was a kind of a strenuous one, we're again, we're gonna do something more on the bed. So we're gonna bring our elbows, tuck them in. Nice, shake the arms out a little. <coughs> Yahoo! All right, now we're gonna go on to triceps, okay? So what you're gonna do is, let's do this one at a time, because it might be a little easier. When you do the arms one at a time, it's easier for you. So if, that going, if doing any of these are too hard to do them together, do it one at a time, okay? So I'm gonna just show you this one at a time. Because what, again, we're going overhead, arms straight up. And then what we're gonna do is, you can even put your hand here, bend your elbow right over that hand. It's about a 90 degree angle. It's almost like you're going to your forehead, but go outside of, outside of your head. You don't wanna hit your head. <laughs> And you can keep your hand here for support if you'd like. And you're just gonna exhale and bring it up, okay? So I'm not also bringing my arm up, I'm pushing my arm, keeping it stable into the ground, all right? Are you ready? So we're gonna inhale. Exhale. And then right at the end, squeeze this muscle, squeeze that tricep. Exhale. So I'm going right along to my ear, or if you want to make it harder, you can go right above your forehead. And that's even harder than squeezing at the end. If you at any time start getting tired, you stop right away because you do not want the weight falling on your head. We got enough that we're trying to work with you heal, right? We don't need a concussion. Four. Five. Squeezing at the end, check in with yourself, making sure you're keeping your arm right up here, elbow pointing to the ceiling. And when you really squeeze that muscle at the end, you can feel it. You're getting a little more umph. Eight. Nine. Ten. Nice job. Shake it out. Take a nice, let's take two breaths together, okay? Let's try the belly breathing. Hand on the belly, breathing in, count of four. And then breathe out for the count of six or eight. Again. See if we can breathe out for the count of eight now. Just doing that breath always brings me back into feeling calmer. All right, and so now I'm ready. Let's go to the other side. Arm up. You can put your hand right in that elbow. Bend over it if that helps you get ready. Watch 90 degrees. And then you're gonna be going up as you exhale. Okay, ready? I'm on my healing journey, right? Three. Four, squeezing. So I'll tell you guys a funny story while we do this. Is that today as I'm recording, it was April 1st, April Fool's Day. 
So I told my daughter, oh my goodness, you're late for school. Hurry up, get ready, get ready, get ready. So I had her scurrying, get ready, right? When she was about to go out the door, I said, April Fools. She had about 25 minutes left before school. I told her her clock was wrong in her bedroom. <laughs> I think I'm gonna use that every morning now because, oh my gosh, it was so great to have her get ready quickly without me having to debug her. A few more. Checking in on where your elbow is. Last one. Shake it out. Let's do one for the lap. So this is also overhead. So let's take some more breaths because we're gonna be doing overhead, okay? And on the rib cage for belly, four breaths in and try to do eight breaths out. Again, try to breathe in, four, slight pause, and then eight breaths out. For eight exhale, <laughs> count of eight going out. Okay, first I'll show you the weights. What we're gonna do is you're gonna put your uh, your weights together, or you can do one weight, and you're gonna go overhead. So I, again, I have ninety degrees with my elbow, overhead, abdominals tight and you're gonna pull on the exhale so what you're imagining is pulling the muscles here on the exhale and bringing it back down okay if this is too difficult just use your your arms and imagine pulling it and even without the weight i can feel it okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna use one weight like this but you can always try two weights if you prefer okay so we're gonna Inhale. So it's basically going to where the top of my head is, and then work to even to the bed, and then exhale. Pulling it out. Keeping your back flat on the bed, not overarching. Inhale. Exhale. You know, another thing you can do if you, you know, you're trying to build your muscle is do a slightly heavier weight and do half the reps. But we're also working on endurance. That's why we're doing 10 reps. You can also, as you want to increase, you can increase your reps when you feel ready. Then later increase your weights. There's so many different ways to grade this. Maybe you can do this while I'm sitting as well. do the shoulders okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna just go out like this and back in okay this can feel a little hard so just try first again without the weight all right so we're working the deltoid muscles working the side of that shoulder as we inhale exhale Right, three pounds is actually feels like a bit much. So definitely go down if you can, if it feels too much, okay? It might be just right, I'm gonna try a few more of this. Inhale. 
exhale. No angel. So this is a bit much. So I'm just gonna grab my one pound hand weights. I usually wear my um, my my hands, but I'm just gonna hold them. So inhale. Oh, this is better. Exhale. We don't want to be pulling a muscle and having too much weight. Exhale. The long lever having your arms out is too much. Go like this. That makes it a short level lever and a little easier. Okay. actually a really good one to start with the outer weight because you can feel the difference with this one. Let's do one more. Nice. Last one. You're going to get on your side. You're going to tuck that elbow into your side. You can have your head down if that's more comfortable. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna, this is going, this is using those the shoulder blade muscles. So you're gonna rotate up and really imagine squeezing that shoulder blade, using that shoulder blade to help hold it. There's small muscles back there that are working and you don't wanna overdo those muscles. But this is also a great exercise for your cherry cup muscles, your back muscles, shoulder blade muscles. Okay, ready? We're gonna inhale. Exhale. Squeeze. Inhale. Exhale. Another one. Try away. This is not one you want a heavy weight on because the muscles are smaller. These aren't like big bicep or tricep muscles. And I'm gonna bring my head down just so I don't hurt my neck. actually good to do like a one pound on or two pound on. Exhale as you go up, squeeze in those muscles. Controlled going down. You don't want to flop it down on the bed. Nice and controlled. And do the energy to bring it down. Great, and then you just want to switch to the other side. Elbow into the side. Start without a weight. Definitely do not use a heavy weight with this if you do use a weight. You're going to inhale, exhale. You might notice one side is easier than the other. My right side, and I am right-handed, tends to be much easier, a little stronger. We tend to be a little stronger on our dominant side. Notice how slow and controlled this is. Three. Inhale. Keeping that shoulder not up by the ear, but down away from the ear. A lot of stability going on. Also stabilizing your core so you're not wobbling around. that shoulder blade. Exhaling as you go up. Inhaling as you go 
slow down. Exhale, as you go up. Inhale, as you go down. And one more. Nice job. Oh, so you can just stretch that out lying down if you'd like. Taking the arm overhead, reaching. You can even take your, your other hand under your elbow joint and just kind of gently pull it a little, give it a little extra, little extra stretch. Don't hold your breath when you're stretching though. I just caught myself. <laughs> Nice deep breaths. And then even going to the side. Stretching out to the side, grabbing your wrist now, stretching to the side. Grabbing your other wrist, stretching to the other side. Coming back neutral and then just stretching that other arm, grabbing behind, right underneath my elbow and stretching. an arm in front of you and can bring it across bringing your shoulder down away from your ear and then just reaching those fingers and cross to the wall I have my hand under under my elbow joint not on it to try to help stretch a little more and then doing the other one Breathing. Don't forget to breathe. We love breathing. And if you've been using weights, you can just interlock your fingers. Turn around and go up to the ceiling. And then even reach up to the ceiling. And the shoulder blades slightly lifted off the bed. Wrist circles. Nice. And then let's end. Just relaxing and breathing with our arms by our side. Just taking a couple nice deep breaths. And as we're taking these nice deep breaths, just thanking ourselves for this time, thanking our bodies for getting stronger all the work it's doing to help us get better. And then bringing your awareness down to your heart, just to your heart center in the middle of your chest, or even to your heart organ. And sending it love. You're sending it love. You're sending you and your body love. You're acknowledging your inner light, your inner beauty, your inner power of who you are. One more breath in and out. Nice job, you guys. That actually feels good. I feel like I'm ready for my day now. So actually, I'm gonna give myself a little break after this before I start my day. <laughs> so give yourself a little rest afterwards, just so you can like feel how you feel from doing this. I wouldn't be getting up, jumping, and running around after this. I'm gonna can't anyhow, but I wouldn't be getting up and doing something very strenuous after this because I want to judge how I feel after this. This is how we judge how we're doing so that we become more aware of our body and when we can progress, when we shouldn't progress, when we need to stay where we're at so that we're not rushing the process because when we rush 
an overdo when we be when we're overachievers, which I tend to be, it's so easy to set ourselves back. Okay? All right. Happy healing and strengthening to you all. Have a good day.